Tonight, hundreds of people packed an auditorium at Fair Park to talk about its future. Right now, it's run by the city of Dallas. And aside from major events like the State Fair of Texas, it is mostly empty and kind of run down. With a look at the different options presented tonight, Fox Sports Rich Ray live at Fair Park. Hi, Rich. Good evening, Heather. Judging by the crowd tonight, there is widespread support for turning over control and operation of Fair Park to a nonprofit foundation like the ones that run the Arboretum, the Dallas Zoo, and Clyde Warren Park, and to make this a year round destination. Fair Park can be the bridge that finally erases the north south divide in Dallas. The invitation to discuss a plan for remaking Fair Park as a year-round destination drew a big crowd. 400 people in the auditorium, another 100 people in the overflow room. This is not for us to talk. At issue, a mayor's task force plan that recommends a public-private partnership that would cede control from the city to a nonprofit, Fair Park Texas Foundation, one that would then seek to raise nearly $500 million to repair and improve Fair Park. It is the crown jewel of the North Texas region. Walt Human headed up the task force. It needs to be taken care of. It needs to be managed properly. And uh, there's a good team out here, but you can't do it without financial help. The 277-acre park opened in 1936, part of the Texas Centennial Celebration, recognized in 1986 as a national historic landmark. But its remarkable Art Deco buildings and architecture are in dire need of repair. And the surrounding neighborhood is poverty stricken with high unemployment and an image problem. Human admits it's been a complicated effort to pull together all the interested parties, including the State Fair of Texas Board of Directors, which fills the park with people each fall for three weeks, then leaves it largely a ghost town for the rest of the year. There is a definite desire in the community to see Fair Park come to life as a year-round destination with amenities that are accessible to residents on a day-to-day -day basis. The task force plan would take down some gates, add development and green space, put the park back in Fair Park. Supporters point to the Dallas Zoo, which has clearly flourished and grown since the city turned its operation over to a nonprofit foundation in 2009. After so many years of having plans, so hopefully the city council can provide the necessary funding to move forward. I think it's a very positive move for Fair Park. Edward Campbell runs a restaurant inside Fair Park. And put the park back into Fair Park, where it can be things for people to do on a regular basis, like Central Park in New York, Balboa in San Diego, Golden Gate in San Francisco. Tonight was all about uh, public input, and they did get a lot of it. The two-hour hearing was uh, supposed to go two hours. It went three hours. They had more than 100 people sign up uh, to speak tonight. But ultimately, the decision is going to come down to the city council. And, Heather, apparently there's at least some on the city council that aren't convinced it's a great idea. All right. We'll keep watching. Rich, live at Fair Park. Thank you.